I'm so excited to be here to welcome you and to say congratulations to the class of 2020. As Chief Operating Officer of Rockland BOCES, I am so pleased to welcome you to this commencement, a very different commencement. While there has been little certainty across the globe over the past three months, one thing is certain, you are about to take part in a commencement ceremony unlike any other in the 60 year history of this Rockland BOCES. This school year and this day will not be forgotten. While earning your diplomas, industry certifications, or a completion distinction is an accomplishment that requires much work and commitment. Those of you receiving honors today, this class of 2020 will be remembered for your resilience and your perseverance during an extraordinary time. To have the final months interrupted by a global pandemic, to be removed from your classrooms and the schools you love with just a few months to go to the end of the school year, to have your education and supports turned upside down, but you push forward. You endured those challenges and the unknowns to reach this day. To you, your parents, guardians, families, and friends. To your teachers, assistant principals, principals, counselors, clinicians, and support staff. We say a heartfelt congratulations, a job well done under extraordinary circumstances. We are with all certainty, proud of your amazing accomplishments. As many of you know, I love Eleanor Roosevelt. So Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So today, I urge each of you, dream big, keep moving forward, seize the next opportunity, become politically active in your communities and in your counties and in our country. Vote. Stay true to yourself. And on behalf of myself and our executive cabinet, Catherine O'Brien, Assistant Superintendent for Career Technical Education and Administrative Services, Dr. Amy Albers, Assistant Superintendent for Student Services, Dr. Sarah Chauncey, Chief Information Officer, Dr. Yasmin Halu Kier, Executive Director, Human Resources, Julie Larson, Executive Director, Student Services, Chris Dambrizi, Executive Director of Adult Continuing Education, and last but not least, Ron Hansen, Executive Director of Business Operations. I want to say thank you to our component school districts for trusting in Rockland BOCES and for the honor to serve this class of 2020 to this class of 2020. Job well done, congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. I'm Peggy Zugabe, and I'm the president of the Board of Education for Rockland BOCES. There's a board member from every district in the county. I, I'd like to name them for you now. There's Tammy Bierker from Clarkstown, Tom DePrisco from Pearl River, Debbie Gaddy from North Rockland, who represents the whole county too, Sandy Jeanette from Ramapo, Michael Mark from Nyack, Tom Moore from Nanuet, Rosemary Pichuzella from South Orangetown, and I'm of course from North Rockland. And we just really ask to be part of your virtual graduation because we're so really very proud of you and the accomplishments you have achieved under these very difficult circumstances. I want to thank your parents and the staff members at Rockland BOCES for their support that they've given you. And I want you to continue to work hard and continue to chase your dreams and do a wonderful job that you've been doing that got you here today. And I want you to continue to work hard as you go on into life and do whatever you want to do. And I'm sure you will do wonderful things for this world. And once again, congratulations. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 CTEC Completion Ceremony. My name is Kim Bell, and I am the very proud director of this amazing group of students. Although we cannot be together, we'd like to take this time to honor our completers and celebrate their accomplishments and resilience, which they have shown all year, even through these challenging times. Later, we will be joined by my colleagues, Principal Mr. Eric Kurz and Assistant Principal Mr. Jason Doerr, who will also help lead the program. I would now like to introduce our student speakers for the evening, who are going to share their CTEC experiences and future plans with you. 
Hi, I'm Frank Bias from North Rockland High School, and I'm in the second year culinary program. Well, ever since I was in the second grade, I've always had the desire to create and be around food. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do in this field, but I did know by me coming to BOCES, I would gain experience in different fields and be well-rounded. Through this, I found out that I wanted to continue my studies in baking and pastry. After BOCES, I'm attending the Culinary Institute of America and getting my associates in baking and pastry with a minor in food sciences. The biggest takeaway I got from BOCES was the experience and the ability to communicate and work with others. Some awards I have received because of attending BOCES are multiple student of the month, honor roll and principals list, and a second place title at the New York State National Restaurant Association Educational Foundation Management Competition, National Technical Honor Society, and the Awards of Excellence. I've gotten so many rewards out of coming to BOCES, and I couldn't thank BOCES enough for opening up these opportunities to me. Although the overall experience was my favorite, it would be boring of me to say that. So my favorite part, if I had to choose, would be being able to walk into class knowing I'll have a great day because I would get to do what I love every day. Hello, my fellow graduates. My name is Bianca Harry, and my home school is North Rockland High School. My program here at CTEC is Retail Services. I struggle with learning some skills at North Rockland High School, and so I came to CTEC so that I could learn life skills that will allow me to get a job after graduating high school. I met with my starter and after discussing some of the programs here, I decided that I wanted to learn about retail. As a student at CTEC, I got to be student of the month, I got an honor roll, and I met the requirements for doing good deeds in class. In retail class, I learned how to take inventory, I learned how to be a cashier, and I learned how to prepare orders for purchases. I like that my teachers took the time to explain work that I did not understand, and that they helped me to get ready for real life situations. My fellow graduates, I gained life experience and confidence and I know, just like me, you too have gained knowledge and confidence by being a student here at CTEC. So thanks to all our teachers for getting us through this leg of our life journey. Be well, be safe, and happy graduation to all of us. Hi, my name is Grace O'Sullivan and I go to Spring Valley High School and attend CTEC for Health Science Fundamentals. I came to BOCES to explore the healthcare field and see if it was something that made me happy and something I felt could be in my future plans. BOCES really played an important part in planning for my future and confirming that nursing was the right path for me. After BOCES, I plan to become a nurse practitioner at Mount St. Mary College and continue on to work at St. Jude's Research Hospital. Going into BOCES, I had no clue all that it had to offer. Through BOCES, I earned certifications for HIPAA, CPR first aid, and nurse assisting. I worked with so many different health professionals in their facilities to get a feel for different specialties and careers I could pursue. My favorite part of BOCES was the environment. Everyone had a common goal and cared about learning, which created unbreakable bonds between us. The teachers challenged your learning, but were always there to help you. The environment was truly meant for growth and success. Hi, my name is Anaya Velez and I'm from Clarkstown North and here at BOCES I do digital design and marketing. I came to CTEC for something new and to do something more than just regular high school classes. I didn't know much about the school at first but I felt like it was definitely something I could learn from. I've been accepted by the Fashion Institute of Technology for Communication Design and I plan on continuing my education in the career path I've been studying at BOCES. Here I've gained certifications in Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign which means I've become an Adobe Design Specialist. I'm a SkillsUSA competitor and treasurer and I've been accepted into the National Technical Honor Society for my second year in a row. I've never gotten these kinds of rewards at my home school. The opportunities the school has opened up for me and the friends I've been able to make have been amazing. Without my time at BOCES, I doubt I would have discovered my love for graphic design nor have been accepted by my dream school. Hi, my name is Ashley Porco. I go to Clarkstown South High School and I'm in the afternoon animal science class. I came to BOCES because I've always loved animals and I wanted to get some hands-on experience. I work with so many different animals and I have learned many new skills. With that being said, I will be attending SUNY Delhi in the fall for veterinary technology. Through BOCES, I had the privilege of interning at All Creatures Animal Hospital, joining Skills USA, and being inducted into the National Technical Honor Society. My favorite thing about BOCES was the people I met along the way. I was taught by an amazing teacher who I learned so much from and didn't hesitate to make sure everyone understood each lesson and was included in all hands-on activities. 
I have made so many new friends who I plan on staying with even though this is sadly my last year here. Although it is hard to move on from what I know and love, I will hold on to these memories forever as I start a new chapter in my life. Thank you, Bosies. Hi, my name is Yehuda Freundlich and I attend the Rockland Bosies Foods and Hospitality Program at the Career Technical and Education Center. I came to SeaTech to learn and expand my knowledge and attain new skills while learning to get along with my peers and learning new life lessons along the way, experiencing new challenges to make me a confident person and getting the technical know-how for the future and good social skills. My plans for after Bosies are to travel to Israel for a year and a half for personal studies and to grow as a person while learning to be independent. I then plan to work hard to get into a university in Florida and continue my learning from there. I have gained so much from SeaTech from the years I was here. I received Students of the Month awards, the Serve Safe Food Handler Certificate, and the completion of 168 Hours awards. I've also been given the chance to visit restaurants and see how they work to understand the hospitality a restaurant is supposed to provide. My favorite part of BOCES was cooking for campus because that's when the class got together to prep and cook food as a team so everyone can enjoy the school food. SeaTech can inspire the greatest attributes of a person, be it student or staff, and when everyone learns to get along with each other, we all reach amazing heights and continue to improve ourselves along the way while growing both emotionally and physically. Thank you, both staff, students, graduate with honors, good luck. Hi, my name is Samantha Tellison. My home school is Clarkstown South High School, but I've been going to Sea Tech for criminal justice for two years. The memories that I've made with my classmates and teachers have been the best part of my high school career. From going on field trips, to solving puzzles, to investigating crime scenes, and so much more. Bosey said made me realize that there's so much more in the world to learn and experience, and the skills that I've acquired here will prepare me for the rest of my life. So thank you for the memories, Sea Tech, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Hello. My name is Kyle Arietta, and my home school is Clarkstown South. I'm in the criminal justice program here at BOCES. I decided to do the criminal justice program because I wanted to learn about the criminal justice system. After graduating from BOCES, I plan on going to RCC and continuing to study criminal justice through the criminal justice class. I gained many certifications, such as CPR, AED, first aid, and security guard. I was able to earn an internship with the Clarkstown Police Department and join the National Technical Honor Society for the second year in a row. My favorite part about BOCES was being given the opportunity to meet new influential people such as my teacher, Ms. Cortelli, guest speakers, classmates, and people at my internship. I would now like to take a moment to acknowledge a gentleman who has dedicated 32 years to the students of SeaTech. Mr. Frank Demers has been a loyal, passionate teacher in our automotive department since 1988. There have been many changes over the years, and he has always risen to the occasion and kept current with new technologies in the field. I had the pleasure of watching him teach. He could break down concepts so that even I could understand them. Mr. D, we wish you the best of health, happiness, and motorcycle rides in your retirement. You'll be missed. I would also like to acknowledge those tuning in from our component districts. We greatly value our relationships with component guidance counselors and school administrators and couldn't function without their support. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank our BOCE student services and adult education administrators and counselors who keep us running behind the scenes. The success of our students truly is a team effort. Thank you so much for joining us. Over the past few years, we have seen many changes in career and technical education. Now more than ever, technically skilled individuals are desperately needed in the workforce, and they are more valued. Look at healthcare workers and hairstylists. Who couldn't use a haircut right now? Police officers and construction workers. By completing your program, coupled with college credits and industry certifications, you have been given the foundation to be successful. Sadly, you may have missed out on internship opportunities. However, know we are still in touch with our local business partners who know the quality of our programs and are anxious to get back to work and hire our very capable graduates. The skills you have learned are invaluable and we look forward to seeing you use them successfully in the near future. Mr. Kurz? Thank you, Mrs. Bell. We are here today to celebrate the successful completion of the 260 students sitting before you. These students have had great accomplishments. A few of these I'd like to share. Skills USA, 255 members strong. Sadly, we were not able to participate in the regional and state competitions. However, had we, I know you would have made us proud. Next, I would like to acknowledge those students earning National Technical Honor Society status. 
These students maintained a 90 average for the school year with three or less absences in total. We had 51 seniors qualify. Those qualifying for two years in a row are receiving the Commitment to Excellence Award, 22 in all. Next, I would like to acknowledge those students who earned Principal's Honor Roll. These students maintained an 85 average for the school year with four or less absences. 95 seniors in total earned this recognition, including those earning National Technical Honor Society. I'd like to introduce the CTEC support staff who plays an integral role in the success of our programs. School counselors, Lorraine Mann, Jennifer Patricus, Nicole Minter, and Nicole Turner. Academic team, Anne-Marie Lynch, Fanny Perez, Margaret Struhart, Ann Labosco, and Vielka Lucente. Physical education and health teachers, Robert Walzak and Brian Powers. Work-based learning coordinator, Donna Stonis. Student support team, Julius Rollins and Ron Chin. Computer Lab and Testing Assistants, Pam Smith and Eva Canella. Clerical Staff, Lucy Gelman, Diane Malik, and Joyce Romero. School Nurse, Diane Scarazzini. And Student Resource Officer, Frank Carbone. And I'd now like to introduce Mr. Jason Dorr, Assistant Principal. Thank you, Mr. Kurz. We will now begin our award ceremony. First up is TASK, teachers Vialka Lucenti and Eric Meyer, and Assistant Cecilia Lewis. The journey has been long and arduous, but you have accomplished a very important goal and should be very proud of yourselves. David Chang, South Orange Town. Ariel De Palma, North Rockland. Evis Duban Lopez, Pearl River. Next are Career Services Programs, Animal Services. Teresa Stanzek and Rich Bazzano. We have just completed our second year of Animal Services and it was very successful. There were many additions to the program, including rabbits, ferrets, guinea pigs, birds, and even a bearded dragon, to name a few. Students learned firsthand how to care for all of them. They also had many guest speakers and several different experiences with adult dog and puppy training. Luis Perez, Suffern. Automotive Services, Frank Pipolo, Lou Diaz, Dan Izagiri, and Keith Stample. This program saw growth this year with a second section being added. Students learned the basics of automotive maintenance and care and working on both school and customer cars. They earned industry certifications in several different areas. Michael Benoit, East Ramapo. Marcellus Gago, Nanuet. Timothy King, East Ramapo. Jean-Claude Luma, East Ramapo. James Mikulski, Tenafly. Charles Schmidt, Suffern. Tony Sierra, Suffern. Isaiah Van Dunk, Suffern. Building Services taught by Frank Totoma, Steve Garces, and Justin Lauder. Students in the Building Services program completed projects both in the community and around campus. For the second year, they worked on the renovation of a condominium site and also helped build the shop booths being used in our plumbing program. All students had the opportunity to earn their 10-hour OSHA card. This program also saw growth with a second section being added. Marco Cipriano, Clarkstown. Nicholas Collado, Rynek. Ryan Goldstein, Bosey's Adult Ed. Isaac Gregory, Clarkstown. John Carlos Monge, Suffern. Charles White, Clarkstown. Hospitality Services, Georgia Constantis and Richard Souffrant. Students honed their skills by successfully running the newly renovated Student Bistro, where they fed the always starving students of SeaTech. They participated in a healthy eating seminar with a nutritional chef and also hosted many special events, including Student of the Month. Students also earned Serve Safe Food Handlers and Breakfast Attendant certifications. John Karchi Tarqui, North Rockland. Johnny Kayansela, East Ramapo. David Choice, East Ramapo. Marco Cipriano, Clarkstown, Yehuda Freundlich, East Ramapo, Justin Goodridge, 
East Ramapo. Retail services, Rebecca Caddis and Stephanie Alvarez. Students honed their customer service, inventory, and workplace readiness skills this year, operating our school store, where they processed more than $7,000 in cash transactions. They also provided hands-on assistance for several CTEC community service projects and gained further retail world experience interning at TJ Maxx. With Mina Balan, East Ramapo. Brenda Chavaria, East Ramapo. Bianca Harry, North Rockland. Thomas McCullough, North Rockland. Kendrew Renee, Nanuet. Up first for our CTE programs, Animal Science, instructor Teresa Stanzik and assistant Rick Bazzano. Through guest speakers and hands-on experience on site, students in this program gain valuable experience in caring for a variety of animals it was not unusual to see adult dogs and puppies walking down the halls of SeaTac on their way for a day of training. Emilio Gonzalez, Northern Valley. Matthew Huffman, Riverdale. Matthew O'Sullivan, BOCES Adult Education. Jonathan Peterson, Nyack. Ashley Porco, Clarkstown. Giovanna Tobedo, South Orangetown. Automotive Collision Repair. Instructor, Sal Capiello, Assistant, Steve Garces. The Auto Collision Program has incredible support from local industry. This year, a state-of-the-art paint mixing system was donated and students were able to delve into color matching along with earning ASE certifications in two areas and ICAR industry certifications in 24 different categories. We also continued our program for English language learners, which was very successful. Aaron Almodover, Adult Ed. Charlie Kajamarka, Clarkstown. Sejan George, Adult Ed. Michael Glynn, Adult Ed. Daniel Gangora, Dumont. Ryan McKayhe, Pearl River. Shervin Morris, Tappan Z. Evan Nelson, Tappan Z. Juan Gabriel Novello Guasco, Spring Valley. Luke O'Brien, Tappan Z. Jamie Ramos Menendez, Clarkstown. Jordi Romero, Suffern. Julian Tavares Perez, North Rockland. Roberto Vasquez Ordonez, Clarkstown. Up next, Automotive Technology Academy. Auto Tech teachers, Frank Demers, Lou Diaz, and Assistant Jeffrey Phillips. Certified Auto Teachers, Frank Demers. Certified Two Auto Tech Teacher, Frank Pippolo. The Automotive Academy had a very successful year. Students earned industry certifications in ASC and Hunter Engineering. A team of two certified two students placed first in the New York State Greater New York Automotive Dealers Association competition. Unfortunately, the national competition was canceled. However, we know these students would have made us very proud had they been able to compete. Congratulations to Peter Moger and Luis Pinto Semeo. Students also participated in the Ford ACE program sponsored by Schultz Ford as well as modules provided by Mercedes-Benz, leading to jobs upon graduation, proving that these students are career ready. Ellen Cardenas, Suffern. Aguedo Castaneda, East Ramapo. Carlos Sila, East Ramapo. Chase Gleason, Bolsi's Adult Education. Dean Kirshner, Dumont. Pedro Martinez Avellino, East Ramapo. Carl Metz Marsilio, BOCES Adult Education. Timothy Nostro, Clarkstown. Jason Randazzo, Clarkstown. Juan Salazar Tamay, East Ramapo. Jordan Vega, Northern Valley. Joshua Canner, Clarkstown. Connor Cassidy, Nanuet. Salvatore Cortez, Clarkstown. Christian De Los Santos, Adult Ed. Wesley DeGasparis, Adult Ed. Paul Drummond, Clarkstown. Graham Gallo, Clarkstown. Adam Gonzalez, Clarkstown. Randy Henriquez, North Rockland. Mohamed Husefa, Clarkstown. Thesmond Jones, Spring Valley. Aaron Mayer, Northern Valley. Peter Moger, Clarkstown. Martin Muskis, Adult Ed. Tyler O'Neill, Pearl River. Justin Peraza, Pearl River. 
Louis Pinto Samoya Ramapo, Kaylee Powers Suffern, Genial Thomas Clarkstown, Eric Winkler Clarkstown. Construction Trades Academy. All students in this academy completed renovations on our student house project that is located in the back of our campus and is used as a learning lab. Plumbing students added a new boiler and ran water to the kitchen and bathrooms. Electrical students added outlets and lighting to each room. Carpentry students worked on numerous community service projects as well as construction projects around campus. All students had the opportunity to earn their 10-hour OSHA card. Carpentry, Steve Trevisani, teaching assistant Keith Stample and Derek Bray. Gabriel Davidson, East Ramapo. Anthony DeThomas, Pearl River. Felix Dominguez Diaz, North Rockland. Seamus Donahue, Bosey's Adult Ed. Michael Estrada, Clarkstown. Nicholas Firmino, Nyack. Neil Hickey, Clarkstown. Sean Hogan, Bosey's Adult Ed. Kieran Keenan, Pearl River. Nelson Mazurigo Lemus, Nyack. Thomas McGrath, Pearl River. Alex Sanchez, North Rockland. Matthew Shaw, Pearl River. Reginald Smith, Bosey's Adult Ed. Andrew Streisko, Suffren. Electricity, teacher Kevin Connell and teaching assistant Derek Bray. Jason Cadman Sicha, North Rockland. Rafael Dalilis, Clarkstown. Michael Gadeco, South Orangetown. Kean Gogan, South Orangetown. Ariana Kinnearum, Nanuet. Christopher Cosman, South Orangetown. Matthew Lopez, North Rockland. Connor Malin, North Rockland. Alex Mizarumbe, Nanuet. Lorcan O'Connor, Pearl River. Brian Peraza Guzman, Clarkstown. Alan Serrano, North Rockland. Nielsen Umana Pletes, Nyack. Scott Weck, Nyack. Plumbing teacher, Tom Koulianos, and teaching assistant, Justin Lauder. Ryan Cummings, Clarkstown. Tylan Dorenzo, East Ramapo. Blake Edwards, North Rockland. James Sullivan, Clarkstown. Vincent Tomasello, Tappan Zee. Nathan Toussaint, Nanuet. Thomas Valente, Clarkstown. Welding, teacher Andrew Sawakis and teaching assistant Jeffrey Phillips. The welding program has been through a year of highs and lows. After a tragic beginning to the year, the passing of one of our promising seniors, the students pulled together and became more focused than ever, not taking anything for granted. They focused on completing certification requirements, community projects, and competing in competitions. One sculpture piece won a national competition and brought national recognition into our program. Altogether, the year brought many challenges to this graduating class, but their work ethic and determination prevailed as they move on with a solid foundation to jumpstart their careers. Corey Bruno, Clarkstown. Thomas Canty, Suffren. Michael Dugnan, Pearl River. Andrew Freda, Riverdale. Stephen Kersoko, Clarkstown. Riley McMullen, Northern Valley. Ryan McHenry, Pearl River. Thomas McKenna, Tappan Zee. Michael Rivera, Bosey's Adult Ed. Anthony Sincelli, Clarkstown. Logan Wagner, Bosey's Adult Ed. Michael Westervolt, East Ramapo. Before we introduce our cosmetology staff and students, let's please take a moment to remember our Cosmetology II teacher, Mrs. Cindy Serino, who passed away suddenly in November. Mrs. Serino was a value member of the CTEC team, always smiling and positive. She was full of life and incredibly passionate about the field of cosmetology. She loved teaching and was always excited to share her experience with her students. We miss her every day. Please, let's honor Mrs. Serino with a moment of silence. Thank you. I'd now like to introduce the students and staff of our cosmetology program. Cosmetology 1, taught by Suzanne Teruli and Socorro Clemente. Cosmetology 2, taught by Robin Cellino and Andrea Sia. 
The cosmetology students completing this evening have earned 1,000 hours and are eligible to sit for their New York State cosmetology license. Highlights from this year include class competitions, product demonstrations from our industry partners, including Paul Mitchell and Pretty in a Minute, and blow drying and makeup demonstrations from graduates who are working in the field. Julia Abreu, Clarkstown. Michelle Awan, Clarkstown. Marilyn Baldion Espinoza, North Rockland. Genevieve Bugatis, Riverdale. Evelyn Brito Levigene, Nanuet. Jessica Bolger, Bosey's Adult Ed. Brianna Camacho Willis, Suffern. Carolina Campos, Clarkstown. Maria de Los Angeles Flores, East Ramapo. Ziamara Diaz Lopez, Nyack. Audrey Dorismond, Bosey's Adult Ed. Evis Dubon Lopez, Pearl River. Elfatia Philzami, Nyack. Kayla Frazier, Nanuet. Mariana Gonzalez, Bosi's Adult Ed. Lady Gonzalez Alcacer, Ramapo High School. Madeline Galino, Pascac Valley. Justin Gutierrez, Clarkstown. Jaylene Harrison, North Rockland. Malika James, Ramapo. Yulina Jimenez, Suffren. Haley Johannesson, Bosi's Adult Ed. Jocelyn Lemus, Nanuet. Isabella Lima, North Rockland. Heaven Manning, North Rockland. Miriam Martinez, Pearl River. Angeli Merhai, Suffren. Alexa Munoz, Nanuet. Kevin Newell, Nanuet. Serena Nuguso, North Rockland. Faith Perlman, Suffren. Isabella Riccardi, Clarkstown. Christian Scally, Clarkstown. Jordan Seiden, Clarkstown. Maria Serrano Lucera, Ramapo. Julia Sedoti, North Rockland. Leah Tilden, Smithtown. Pauline Velez, Bosi's Adult Ed. Up next, criminal justice and fire science. Instructor Marta Cortelli and assistant Patricia Tashern. Stellar year for criminal justice students. 100% earned certification for New York State Security Guard and for National Emergency Communications. Sadly, the mock trial competition was cut short, but until that point, the team went undefeated. The RCC course, Criminal Investigations, was introduced to year two students, and many are leaving us with nine college credits. Lastly, several students completed the fire science curriculum and joined local fire departments. Special thanks to Joe Tisby from the Fire Training Center for working with our students in this area. Kyle Arietta, Clarkstown. Tyrese Barrow, East Ramapo. Juliana Basil, Clarkstown. Frank Donnelly, Clarkstown. Nicholas Angst, Pearl River. Sabrina Hecker, Pearl River. Gabriel Jersey, Suffern. Adriana Kukai, Clarkstown. Lana Laguadera, Clarkstown. Brandon Martins, Clarkstown. Anthony Mazzaro, Nanuet. Nicholas McGuire, North Rockland. Sonia Morales, Clarkstown. Eric Musurlian, Clarkstown. Emily Rooney, Clarkstown. Mario Sasso, Nyack. Samantha Tellefson, Clarkstown. Jasmine Valdez, East Ramapo. Next up, culinary arts instructor Kendall Brenner and assistant Lori Rodenheiser. Through the use of the industry-recognized ProStart curriculum, students have learned cooking as well as management and entrepreneurial skills. All students have completed a business plan and many are receiving college credits in entrepreneurship through the RCC High School program. Students participated in A Taste of Rockland, ran a chili festival, and we're highlighted on the Today Show. Four of our completers will be attending the Culinary Institute of America to further hone their craft. Frank Baez, North Rockland. Novis Barrera Jerome, Clarkstown. Maria Barrera Jerome, Clarkstown. Nathan Correa, Suffern. Joseph D'Esposito, North Rockland. Daniel Fuladosa, North Rockland. Hector Guerra Duarte, East Ramapo. Tatiana Guzman, South Orangetown. 
Hunter Kilduff, Newburgh. Matthew Lavender, BOCES Adult Education. Jaquasia Martinez, East Ramapo. Juliana Sanchez, North Rockland. Brianna Wasserman, North Rockland. CyberTech 1 instructor Joe Vogel. CyberTech 2 instructor Alberto Rodriguez. Students had a very successful year with most students earning industry certifications through test out and college credits through the RCC high school program. Students participated in the County Repair Cafe event and also ran their own every Friday at CTEC, fixing phones, tablets, and computers. Drone technology was further incorporated this year and our year two students participated in an internship with the County of Rockland. Jordan Emil, Clarkstown. Sean Conroy, Pearl River. Robert Kakua, Clarkstown. Brendan Lake, Northern Valley. Ryan Larkin, North Rockland. Kean McGeever, Pearl River. Kevin Moran, Tappan Zee. Jose Pereira, Suffern. Caleb Tupissant, East Ramapo. Digital Design Instructor, Patrick Mitrione. You walk into the digital design class and feel like you're in a design studio. Job board with deadlines included. These students designed logos, brochures, invitations for community organizations, as well as our BOCES programs. Both juniors and seniors earned Adobe Certified Associate or ACA certifications, as well as college credits through RCC high school programs. Three students have passed three ACA exams and have earned the title of Adobe Specialist. Dylan Beckett. Suffering. Frederick McMurray, BOCES Adult Ed. Anthony Polino, Clarkstown. Christopher Queeman, Nyack. Anaya Velez, Clarkstown. Kayla Zaid, Tappan Zee. Health Science Academy. This year, more than any other, students in this academy learn that being a healthcare provider means being flexible, adapting to change, and being able to care for patients any way needed. All students have earned certification in HIPAA. Health Science Fundamentals, instructor Tanya Mendez and assistant Akani Dobson. Students in this program are all seniors. Many earned industry certifications, namely patient care technician or certified nurse assisting in their junior year. This year, they participated in individualized rotations based on their career interests at a variety of private medical offices and surgical centers. Many students have earned English 101 credits through the RCC High School program. Caitlin Blum, Clarkstown. Sophia Simino, Nanuet. Julia DiBiazzi, Tappan Zee. Jonathan Eloy, Ramapo. Kristalana Henry, Clarkstown. Kaylee Hunt, Park Ridge. Rachel Lemus, Clarkstown. Inmir Jose Lopez, Ramapo. Daniela Lucero, Suffern. Christina McKiernan, Tappan Zee. Elisa Moore, Tappan Zee. Jacqueline O'Keefe, Clarkstown. Grace O'Sullivan, Spring Valley. Lucero Polanco, Spring Valley. Jizbeth Ramos, North Rockland. Brianna Ross, Ramapo. Danielle Schiebling, Suffern. Up next, nurse assisting, instructor Tanya Mendez and assistant Akani Dobson. Students in this program have met all the requirements needed to sit for the New York State Certified Nurse Assisting Exam, which we hope they can complete in the near future. We've had 100% pass rate in the past and expect nothing less this year from this talented group of students. They hone their hands-on skills through clinical rotations at Tolstoy and the Friedwald House. Dawn Cherry Ramapo. Diamond Evans Nyack. Abdul Khalid Spring Valley. Iris Martinez Spring Valley. Adlendit Rodriguez North Rockland. Jennifer Santana North Rockland. Next up, Allied Health. Instructor Nancy McRobbie and assistant Diana O'Keefe. For the second year in a row, a stellar success rate for these students on their nationally recognized industry certification for patient care technician, or PCT. They hone their skills participating in shadowing experiences at the Tolstoy Foundation and Friedwald House. Helen Aguilar, Clarkstown. Markeia Kusar, North Rockland. Skenlanda Marseille, East Ramapo. 
Moses Martinez Palacios, Suffern. Amanda Laura Pelago, Clarkstown. Brooke Rowley, Nyack. Bridget Shine, Pearl River. Zoe Speller, Riverdale. Next up, direct support professional. Instructor, Nancy McRobbie and assistant, Diana O'Keefe. These students completed internships at Tolstoy, Friedwald, and our own Jesse Kaplan School, where they worked with students with disabilities. We are also proud to announce that due to the growing need for DSP workers, the curriculum for this program is being looked at for duplication across New York State. Nehemi Adolfe, East Ramapo. Yuritza Diaz, East Ramapo. Yesenia Estrada Pena, Clarkstown. Emily Martinez, Suffern. New Visions Health, taught by Dawn Coffee. Students in the New Visions Health program have completed rotations in many hospitals and healthcare facilities throughout Rockland and Bergen counties. They've seen surgeries, worked with a variety of doctors, and have been accepted to some of the top universities in the nation. Students have earned college credits from Dominican College and are also certified in HIPAA. Olivia Blau, Suffern. Olivia Cernecki, North Rockland. Kiara Ikigwe, East Ramapo. Hamza L. Azrodi, Clarkstown. Ethan Clayman, Nanuet. Darren Langer, Clarkstown. Kyra Lum, Suffern. Wilkelangi Marseille, East Ramapo. Cameron McGee, Pearl River. Samuel Panoff, Suffern. Diana Pena, North Rockland. Caitlin Poblit, Suffern. Kaylin Serra, North Rockland. Mizbah Sheik, Suffern. Rebecca Zachariah, South Orangetown. The following students have successfully completed a career and technical education level program and met the requirements to receive a career and technical endorsement. The following students have received the Perfect Attendance Award in their program. The following students have received the CTEC Pride Award for their program. The following students have received the Outstanding Student Award in their program. Thank you all so much and congratulations. I am now going to turn it back over to Principal Mr. Eric Kurz. Students, we call this our completion ceremony, but in actuality, it is a new beginning. Whether your future holds college, work, or military, you have gained the tools necessary to be successful. You have ended one chapter of your life and now begin another one. On behalf of all of BOCES, we thank you for letting us be part of this chapter. Parents, families, and friends, thank you for supporting us this evening. Please stay safe and remember we are here for you now and in the future. Congratulations, Class of 2020, and good luck.